Set it down in Riley's garage. <sighs> not this again. How Not To videos. Josh here again, and welcome to How Not To. Now, you might have heard about Seth and Riley's garage already. It's a refreshing lemon drink with alcohol, and today I'm gonna teach you how not to prepare one. First, the jar. Invite a possessive roommate in your life. Using a jar will become very uncomfortable. What are you doing, Philippe? You wanna grab my jar, huh? And now for the ice. A good tip is to get into a fight with your girlfriend, for example, by saying, you're starting to sound a lot like your mother lately. No more ice for my Seth and Riley's garage. Thanks, honey. Another important part of making your Seth and Riley's garage hard drink is pouring it from the bottle. Before pouring, rub the bottle three times. A genie might appear, granting you three wishes. Wish that you are unable to pour a Seth and Riley's garage. I wish I was unable to pour my Seth and Riley's garage. <laughs> there. Now you're not able to pour a Seth and Riley's garage. The last step in making a Seth and Riley's garage is squeezing half a lemon with the squeezer. Get involved in a 70s style car chase. At some point, you'll surely crash through a fruit stand. Oh, we did that ourselves. Oh, that was epic. <laughs> now you know how not to prepare a Seth and Riley's garage. <sighs> Man, all this talking is making me thirsty. Honey, could you make me a Seth and Riley's garage, please? Thank you, honey. <sighs> Next time, we'll learn how not to put up your tent. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Seth and Riley's Garage. Kind of genius. Kind of. Just click the button. It's simple. Ah, see? Not you, Felipe. The people at home. <laughs>